let's go because we got to go. He was great. Uh, you look at the carryover from the Celtics game and what he did tonight was really, really good. Um, and so we just got to keep stacking that positivity and uh, keep keep him on the floor, get him more minutes, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Does Luka playing 39 minutes tonight? Uh, <laughs> was that obvious? <laughs> A little. No. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we'll see how he feels. What did, uh, what did you make of closing that up and you know, kind of trusting them to, to finish it off, even if you've got a, a team that's going to be down the stretch? Yeah, I, I think it's always good um, to see how people handle the situation. I, you know, it's easy to bring Timmy and Luca and those guys back in. The team doesn't grow, you know, so having Hardy and Theo and those guys out there to execute getting the ball in um, and then being able to knock down free throws. I, th I think it's a great um, opportunity for those guys who don't get to play a lot of minutes to to feel a little pressure there at the end. Do you want Hardy to get any minutes at point guard? Yeah, uh, he, he played a little point guard, I thought, tonight. He, he handled the ball in a couple sets. Um, he probably get a little bit more uh, handling the ball tomorrow, uh, as we as we as we find out who's playing and who's not. But I think uh, what just being able to be a combo guard um, gives more value, and also just being able to put him in a position, something that we really don't have in that speed. And you, you can see he can get to the paint and he can finish. Um, one is to get there, but then the second part, the hardest part, is to finish, and he's doing that at a high rate for us. So. We'll see how he handles, you know, running running the team in the sense of putting him in sets um, and seeing his decision making. But um, with his pace, if we can play in the open court, um, it, it's to his advantage. Are there players that you, as your coach, players that you, you know, show him and feel more of a wanting to emulate or pattern himself after? I don't think too many of the young kids want to. They want to be themselves, their own brand. Um, so uh, for him, I, I think he just has to be himself. He he has a uh, he's bigger than you think, and he's faster than you think, and and his his knack to be able to score, um, and he's not scared, which is really cool to see. And and then also just becoming a pro, um, you know, being with the Ignite last year uh, was one step, and now. Uh, being able to play in the G League um, and then now being counted on to play some minutes here for us with the injuries, um, he's taking full advantage of it. And so we just got to figure out, can we play him, you know, off the ball? And then can we have the ball in his hands where he can make decisions? What, what part of Huddy's game have you seen growing since Every part. He's, he's improved in every area. He's worked extremely hard. He's um, learning what it means to be a pro. Um, and then you can see the the product on the floor in the sense of he's not scared. Um, he's a young man um, surrounded by a megastar, and he feels like he fits right in, so that's kind of cool. Although Christian got in foul, so he's still in the first team. He was talking about the fast going yeah, he was great. Uh, he just got in foul trouble, unfortunate. Uh, the game was called, um, you know, that way tonight. Um, but I thought, again, uh, with the foul trouble, he, he stayed in the game. He was over there cheering his teammates on, and he was talking. And I thought he was a positive. Even when he wasn't on the floor, he was trying to help his teammates. Thank you, Thanks. Uh, Jake, you down.